Hello viewers, I, I made a slight error on my uh, last video before I uploaded it. Um, I managed to leave all my personal information in full view on the video uh, when I was doing an unboxing uh, or unpacking of the next two pens that are going to be in this video. For that reason, I took out a large chunk of the uh, review because obviously I don't want my personal information scattered across the, uh, the broad internet. Um, so uh, you have to excuse the editing. Uh, but uh, please carry on and you'll see uh, the review of the Tombow Air Press and the uh, Zebra, or Zebra if you're from England, uh, FXMD. Uh, enjoy and uh, again, apologies for the editing. Bye. I'm trying to find alternatives to the Parker Jota, just because why not? The variety is the spice of life as they say. So let's uh, open up this packet and have a look. I'll show you what we purchased. So... I purchased a Tombow air press, which is supposed to be, um, it's supposed to inject air into the uh, refill, as far as I'm aware, as you click it, which makes it uh, a pressurized pen. So you can write upside down, underwater, um, and on various paper, I understand. It's like a, a, an oil-based ink. Um, I quite like the clear one, because I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, technical by trade, so, um, quite like the mechanics that you can see inside so we'll have a look at that one in a bit I also ordered which everybody keeps raving about the zebra zebra whatever you want to pronounce it fxmd which is another uh, aluminium or oh, sorry steel um, ballpoint that everybody keeps talking about as a replacement for the other one quite like it so far it's got quite, quite a nice weight to it um, but what we'll do is we'll do a writing it and we'll, we'll we'll pull them apart first and see what's in them and then we'll do a writing sample and uh, see what they're both like and see if they're a good substitute for the jotter uh, oh just also as a quick one before i uh, move on to the test i purchased a, a, a smaller fine ink for the uh, zebra as well because uh, i quite like a fine writer anyway we'll uh, crack on and uh, see what they're made of Okay, so we'll uh, we'll start with the the, the Zebra FXMD. Um, I believe this is the replacement for the F seven hundred one. I'm sure people will correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but uh, yeah, quite impressed with the, uh, the 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 quality of it. It feels really solid. Um, nice nice solid pen. I'm I'm sure it'd be fantastic for EDC. We'll we'll find out over the next few weeks. As I'll I'm going to substitute the Jotter for this just to see how this behaves. Um, I quite like the knelled finish on the on the barrel really really quite nice for, for for a grip um it's got a decent decent clip on it by the looks of it um doesn't look like that's going to break too soon it's got a nice click to it quite quite quiet compared to the uh the jota the jota's got a very distinctive noise whereas this is uh much quieter uh i believe yeah so this screws off the end that'll expose the refill which says it's a Zebra or Zebra F model 1.0 and a plastic um, refill. I've obviously purchased the uh, 0.7, which is a much fine, which is my more suited to my writing. And that's in a metal um, re, uh, sort of container rather than a plastic. So I wonder why that is, not too sure. But uh, it looks like it's quite straightforward. You just swap it over, screw the end back on. So yeah, so that's uh, it's a straightforward ballpoint solid pen. Um, oh, that really does bug me when they put stickers on. Um, I hate stickers on pens. I don't know how easy it is to get off. Let's have a look. Does it come off easy? And leave no residue? Uh, yeah, typically it leaves all the glue behind. Um, but I'm sure that'll come off easy with a bit of a rub. Yeah, look at that. That's not too bad. Get rid of that one. So we'll clean that up. So I think what we'll do is we will uh, move on to a writing sample. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll do a quick writing sample with the with the Zebra Zebra FXMD. We'll use my uh, my favourite uh, Wanderings notebook, which I've reviewed in other videos. Um, we'll go to a blank page, see what we get. Okay, so this is a ooh, look at that, straight out of the packet. I haven't, I haven't actually tested this. This is literally straight out of the packet, so I'm quite impressed with that. So, 
They brought F X M D Pull point Pen one point zero. See fairly decent ink. Um looks very similar to uh uh the Parker Jotter ink. Um it's quite a quite a nice it's a nice feel in the hand actually. Quite impressed with that. Um, it's uh, definitely definitely a good pen. Definitely one for uh, writing on various surfaces. Um see if I've got some uh, let's have a look. So we've got some normal so this is like digital paper that comes out of card machines. Writes on that no problem at all. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I've got some wrapper from Flutac. Let's see what that does. Yeah, you can write on that as well. So that's quite impressive. Yeah, pretty good pen. Um, let's see what the lines are like. Shade it. Oh yeah, yeah, it works uh, works really well. Looks like you better do some nice sketching with this one as well. Yeah, quite impressive. So I think what we'll do now is we'll swap over onto the uh, point seven and see if that makes any difference. So as I said, this looks like a metal container rather than a or metal refill, should I say. I like the fact they come with a spring. Um, as on, on the jotter, obviously, you uh, you have to, you just get the refill. So I'll take this one out. Put a nice metal one in. No, try not to cross thread the, uh, <laughs> the aluminium body or steel body. Again, not a nice quiet click. So this is now a couple of goes to get it working. Even a B would be quite handy, wouldn't it? There you go, F, X, M, D. Oh, that's much finer. This is a 0.7. There you can clearly see, clearly see the difference between those two without a shadow of a doubt. So that'll be uh, good for doing finer drawings or, or writing on even worse paper. Um, let's see what this does. Yeah, again, good refill. You can get some good control over the uh, the ink so it doesn't lay down too much. If you wanted to use it for sketching. Yeah, very impressed with that. It's a slightly different colour by the looks of it. It looks more of a bluey, bluey black than a, more of a black. But uh, yeah, and I'm sure for the tactical people among you, again, nice solid pen if you really wanted to um, stab somebody with it. Um, wouldn't recommend it, but I'm sure in a pinch, if you really needed a, a weapon, it'd be pretty good. Uh, you could go all John Wick on somebody, I'm sure, but with a pen rather than a pencil. Anyway, so that's the Zebra. So I think we'll move on to the uh, Tombow next. And... Um, See what that one's like. Okay, let's have a look at uh, the next one, which is the Tombow Air Press. Um, quite a nifty idea, I think. Um, it injects air into the uh, refill um, to make it a pressurised um, pen, really. I think so you can, uh, according to this, write in frosty conditions, uh, which is minus five, right over your head. Or write on wet paper. Um, why you'd want to write over your head, I have no idea. Or write upside down. I've never had to do that myself, I've got to be honest. Um, but I must have written sideways on a wall. But oh, well, perhaps that's what it's for. Um, so uh, let's uh, get it open and have a look. Okay, so I purchased the uh, transparent one, as you can see. Um, so you can see the mechanism. It looks like it's got a nice good sturdy clip it's got quite a nice grip on it, it looks like it's got a lanyard hole um, not that I've ever put anything in a lanyard got a nice 
nice action. The fact you can see everything work is quite nice. So if we can bring that a bit closer. Yeah, quite like that. That's quite groovy. Now, as you can see, I've just took this out of the packet, so let's, um, let's have a look and see if it'll write straight away. So, what do we have? It is a... Oh, no, not straight away. Oh. Couple of goes to get it working. Tom Bone, smooth writer for a fine. It's quite nice. Uh, press. Yeah, that works really well. It is a really good fine line. I quite like that. That's um, yeah, bodes well for a bit of drawing. This one does, I think. At a later date, and now we should do some nice shading. But yeah, it's quite uh, not bad ink. So let's. Um, I don't know. I'm going to show you this actually. So we'll, we'll turn it. If I just. Do it like that. Yeah, right upside down. I don't have any water. Oh no, I do have a bit of water stand. So we'll um, we'll wet a bit of paper and see if it works. I'm not going to do my nice notebook when I get something else. Let's, uh, right, let's give it a go. So we have some little bit of water. This is going to work. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, not fantastic, I must admit. But it uh, it definitely writes of sorts. So out of the water, in the water. Let's spread the water about a bit. So damp paper. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of there. It's not brilliant, but uh, at least you know if you really wanted to, you could write underwater or with a bit of damp book, bit of paper. Yeah, it's quite impressive. So that's the uh, the Tombow Air Press. Quite pleased with that, and uh, that will be added to my EDC along with the uh, the, the Zebra Zebra um, FXMD, and um, I'll probably come back to them in few weeks time after using them and uh, let you know what I thought. Thanks for that. Um, don't forget like and subscribe and um, catch you in another video. Cheers.